Hello. Oh, Logan's not Logan's not even singing this time because he's because he's annoyed. Because I've been ready for some minutes. <laughs> God damn it! I'm texting my girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Fuck. Logan was like, "Go, go, make sure everything's ready." And I come up and get everything ready. And he brings a cookie in here and starts eating it in the hallway. I was like. Are you gonna? And he was like, "Oh, it I wasn't just ready. To be, I just it wasn't it to ready. Be ready. It was, it was not ready. ready. It was not ready. I was sitting down and I was no. Ready. You were sitting in my seat, meaning you were testing this microphone last time I checked. And then when I went. You I were put eating the- that cookie. I was standing there, like, what are you doing? Impossible. <laughs> You're full of shit. Unlikely. Welcome to Odd Speed, everybody. Episode thirty. Oh no. I'm gonna guess we 35. missed five. We missed uploading the last one. We missed a week. So I'm going to upload it immediately after I finish editing it, and I'm going to try and get another one up, uh, up uploaded a week after this. Bet. A week from uh, two days from now. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. So we can we can try that. I was going to ask you about that. Oh, man. Oh, my I'm Lanta. I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, I should have just... I, I was going to guess 34, and I didn't believe myself. It's episode 34. Damn, I was, I was off. Uh, this is a podcast where two brothers talk about any and all things, no matter how mundane or absurd. It's usually both. Yeah, my name's Logan. My name's Tyler. We're brothers, like you uh, said. We're brothers. We eat cookies. Mm-hmm. I was sitting texting Diana while Logan was like, I'm just going to start it. And he pressed the space bar on my keyboard. Because that's always what we pushed to didn't end it. it. And I never really am the one to start it. So I just thought it was the same button every Like, time. I just thought of Thanos punching Captain Marvel in the face. And she just, like, looks at him. <laughs> wow. You're a nerd. You're like, that's Batum. what that reminded you of? I don't Me know. pushing the space bar and nothing happening. Okay. Uh, Clark Griswold putting the plugs together in his house, not lighting That's up. That's more like it. That feels better <laughs> to me. A little bit less extreme, I think. Well, uh, I've been talking for a really long time about getting tattoos. On here? I think I mentioned it once. Maybe. Long story <laughs> okay. short, I'm a huge music nerd. I want to get different art pieces from different albums I like as like a really loose patchwork sleeve on my left arm. Okay. Yeah. But I'm kind of a pussy, not necessarily because of the pain, but because of the permanence. So I really want to make sure, like, I'm going to get something that I love. So what I did, I don't know if any of you have heard of Inkbox. Inkbox. It's a custom. Well, not it, sponsored. We don't no. get any viewers. Why would we have a sponsor? Exactly. <laughs> um, I keep saying viewers. Go ahead. Okay. Listeners. It's a temporary tattoo that looks like a regular tattoo. So I ordered, I actually had Tyler, like kind of stencil it out for me because I'm getting the Glass Animals album, How to Be a Human Being, the writing along the bottom I want on my left arm to start. Well, everybody, my ink box came in and I'm going to be applying it right now. What? Yeah. Oh, shit. Let me just drop the fucking tattoo on the floor. There it goes. (laughs) Fuck, I'm kicking shit. And then he kicked the fucking goddamn you. Kicked the fucking goddamn you, he says. Yeah, that's going to be the name of the episode. All right, let's see. I have read briefly about this. I did shave my arm in the shower. Oh. A little bit. Um, they said to do it 24 hours after shaving. I will not be doing that. Why? Why did they say that or why am I not? Why did they say that? Because it- Hair a grow back. Possibility of infection, I think. Oh. And they want to make sure you didn't cut yourself, but like, I didn't cut myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe that's why. I don't know. I yeah. also, I moisturized like an hour and a half ago, like they said- so we're about to be doing it. They oh, call sh- him the moisturizer. As a Logan's struggling to open it. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's open. I just fucked up the first time. Okay. <laughs> Prep skin with primer wipe. Primer wipe in big black letters. You're, Great. You got your uh, put your face near the microphone instead of the the I'm fucking uh, pop filter. Oh well, why'd you move the pop filter like that? Huh? Tyler, look at look at my waves. They're fine, dude. I'm speaking in a normal volume right now. <laughs> if you guys can't hear me, get your hearing checked. Yeah, Lauren. Oops. Does she even listen to this anymore? No. Okay, <laughs> Does she one, get tired of it? <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure. Biodegradable wipe. One, prep skin with primer wipe. Exfoliate, exfoliate area with primer wipe for 30 seconds. Wait 30 seconds for area to dry. Then you apply the tattoo by peeling off the tattoo backing, placing it on skin sticky side down. No shit. Peel off the tattoo border. This is so exciting. Leave on for 60 minutes. So that's Jesus I Christ. I'd just be leaving it on while we do this. Four, remove everything. Your tattoo will look blue or green at first. It will take 24 to 36 hours to darken blue to black, depending on your skin. And then, aftercare, cover the tattoo with loose clothing the first night as the ink can transfer to another body part. That's easy. 
Avoid oh. exfoliating your tattoo until you're ready to remove it. Actions like scrubbing in the shower and swimming in salt water will gradually fade your tattoo. Really, the point of this, right, is I don't really care if it could disappear in three days and I'd be like, whatever. Yeah. I just want to make sure I like it, right? How much was it? Uh, it was like 26 bucks. Okay. Which, like, for someone like me who's really just, like, nervous, I don't think that that's too bad of a price, you know? And it was custom. All right, I'm doing it. I'm exfoliating, priming the area for 30 seconds. Dang, 30 seconds is a long time. This is not a very wet wipe, you know? <laughs> this is a mid, a moist wipe at best. I don't know why I would have to continue wiping this, but I will. For 30 seconds. Okay. I don't I think it's primed as fuck right now, so. And then you peel it off on the back. He's doing it. Oh, don't fuck it up, Logan. Oh, what are you doing? It fucked up. Oh, no, I'm good. <laughs> Oh, my fucking God. I understand, because I have to leave the border on. I'm remembering. <laughs> yeah? Right? About there? Sure. Might be a little Is that crooked, where you shaved? But... Yeah. It's a little late now. I kind of stuck it. There he go. He got the words on his arm. Yeah, I think that's about where I wanted it. It's like a little... I kind of fucked it up a little bit. I, like, put it on and then took it back off and then put it back on, like, really quickly, but mm. still, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can see where it was. I'm nervous that that's going to look like shit. But whatever. It's fine. Now now when when it like dries and whatever and it stays on, you can go to grandma's house and show her. No, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to show everybody. I have not told mom about this. Oh, you didn't tell mom about no, it? I told dad, but I didn't tell mom. That's really funny, Logan. Wait, so hold on. I, That's hilarious. I apply, peel off. I can't wait till mom fucking loses her mind because she thinks you have a tattoo. And then. Oh, then we take the thingamajig off. That felt nice. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be like a 7 out of 10. Like, I'm going to love where it is. Like, I'm just looking at it now, and I'm like, yeah, I like that. But. You're not allowed to rate it if you fucked it up. That's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> Ugh. It is only a little fucked up, though. Not everywhere. Well, yeah. So then that's it. Just a wee little bit. So now we're just going to sit here. Damn, I'm pissed that I fucked it up. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can, like, go in with, like, a little... I can scrub the part that I fucked up because it's like underneath the words. You can use a fucking microscope? Well, no, I mean, yeah, no, wait, no, but I think I, it'll be <laughs> fine. Worst case scenario, I buy another one. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> How long is it supposed to last? What did it say? It, it lasts like one to two weeks unless you scrub it or go in salt water or whatever. That's cool. Yeah. For 26 bucks to make sure I love something, I, I'm into it. Leave on for 60 minutes. And also because it's the the part that I fucked up isn't gonna be sitting there for sixty minutes. Well, it might. I don't know. Well, the uh, yeah, the shit that's on your arm is under the plastic, and it's gonna sit there for sixty. No, minutes. but it's really it's really faded. Yeah, and it's gonna look faded. Pet. Pet. Well, I, mean, I gotta stand up and see. Like, did I do it straight? Oh, now Logan's gonna. Jesus Christ, man! Looks good enough to me. Yeah, because if I end up doing it permanently, like. It'll be a little bit different because they'll get to like draw draw the stencil or whatever on my hand, my arm before they're like, "Do you yeah. want me to put this there?" So cool. Well, yeah. So there's that. Good. Ink box. Good job, Logan. Uh, I will box. report back next time we record an episode for next week. Oh my god, we'll actually follow up on something that we fucking oh talk about. Oh my god. Yeah, I never wrote that. Holy essay. shit! Write the goddamn chromostone v diamond head essay. Listen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I cannot believe I acted like we were going to have Pranav back and Marty, and I didn't get either of them to get on. <laughs> yeah, that's that's on you, dude. Can you go this way. <laughs> sure. Perfect. Well, that's that's my first update for everybody. Tyler, what are you up to? I threw it at the trash can, and and I and I hit the, the front of the trash I can. I mean, it's like 90% of the way there, you know? Yeah, but it's 100% not in the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, heard. What have I been up to? I started my final semester this week. Oh, oh, oh! This week? Ow, ow, ow. Yes, this week, because it was just Labor Day. Yes. We love Labor Day. Technically, we started last week, but if you don't have a Thursday class, it didn't Oh, matter. wait. I did have a Thursday class. Ew. And a Friday class. I okay, I started before Labor Day. That sucks. That's about as bad as it gets. This class... These classes fucking rule. It seems like I'm taking an art history class, and I'm taking an illustration style class. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love illustration and I want to make, I want to like hone my own style and they're making us, they're having us do one project per week. Whereas this same professor, the last class I took with her, we did four projects over one semester. So it's going to be like, Bad. instead of that, like nine, 10, whatever projects. Oh, shit. Yeah. So that's going to be cool. And then art history, just 
seems like it's going to be a chill professor. He's pretty, uh, he's a chill guy and he's funny. Cute. And he just like gets sidetracked all the fucking time. Yes. We just do, we just did two lectures on the lectures. first 13 pages of the book. They were each an hour long lecture. Also, fuck this. I'm an idiot. I signed up for these two classes, right? That's all you needed? Yeah. Nice. I got to go to school four days a week. <laughs> You know what's funny is I sign up for three classes and I have to do a Zoom call three days throughout the whole semester. And that's Fuck it. Fuck you. It's great. First of all, I never talked about that. I don't know if I ever talked about this on the show. Um, I was supposed to take three classes at the at the um, beginning of the year. Um, the school I go to calls it winter semester, but it's like mostly spring, winter, well, spring-ish. No. I don't know. January, February, March or winter, dude. Yeah, it goes into, okay, fine. It just feels weird that it's called winter semester. I signed up for three three classes and thought that I was done when I did that. And then I realized that I had two credits missing because mm-hmm. there was something in like the, it tells you how much shit you have left to do. And I just missed something. And I, I fucking talked to a counselor and I'm like, Hey, can I like slide by with this shit? Do I really have to get two more credits? And they were like, Oh no, we would let you slide with one credit. Ooh, which, cause that's what I'm going to uh, uh two no fuck you to hell that's you, you need to take another class and i was like are you fucking kidding me? so wait wait let me make this clear they did say that they would have let you slide if you were only missing one credit yes like you need 120 and you had 119 they would have let you slide because that's where i'm at right now at the end yeah. of the semester hell yeah i was nervous yeah, you was can miss one like... credit you gotta make sure you talk to them about I mean, it yeah. but yeah then one of the three classes that i took was a um remote Art history class. I had taken this professor the previous semester and I had an in-person class with him. I didn't say one goddamn word during this class. He like acted like participation was key. It was like part of the grade, but I never said a word and I got an A in the class. That's what's up. This class was online. I have a piece of shit laptop (laughs) where the webcam doesn't work. We know. And I purposefully... Well, no, actually, I'm sorry. My laptop, the audio doesn't work. Don't you have an iPad? Yeah, good point. That's what I use. Fuck that. I you, <laughs> I went on my PC, my fucking new PC that like works, that's better than my laptop. Because I wasn't thinking about an iPad. But at this time, it didn't matter to me. Okay. I was like, okay, I'll go to the Zoom class on my PC, which doesn't have a webcam. But I'm like, in his class, my there's no there's no webcam showing my face. It just says my name. Mm-hmm. And I'm not answering any, I'm not like, like reaching out and answering questions. Going like, uh. He didn't call roll. The first two classes, he didn't call roll. I hate that you say it like that. I, he didn't do roll call. He didn't I'm take sorry. attendance. He didn't take attendance. Tyler, what are you fucking sixty six? Who gives a, what? It's me. He, Who gives? A, uh, 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 uh. He marked me absent for both classes because my webcam wasn't on. He messaged me privately on the school like the 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 the, the you know the fucking assignment website thing that that our school uses. Okay. He was like, hey, just to let you know, uh, you've been marked absent for the first two classes because you didn't like participate and I didn't see you. And if you miss a third class, you get a failing grade. Did I was he, like, what? Did he say like, hi, Tyler, just to let you know, like if you don't show your face. He did not say a goddamn thing to me. Okay. Cause like, okay. So yesterday I took my, my first of my three lectures Yeah, and um, she sent out an email. It's on the syllabus. It's in Moodle. And she sent an, or she said in class, she was like, "Hey guys, just to let you know, like if you don't have your camera on, I'm gonna unfortunately have to give you, uh, or like not like mark you not here essentially." And that got a couple of people to turn. That he didn't say on. shit about attendance. Hmm. I was also sitting there. And I was just like, I don't know. There's a bunch of other fucking people that don't have their they don't have web, a webcam on. I was like, I don't give a shit. Okay, so did you like text or like email him? Like, listen, I it was the th- it was the second week of classes. I didn't want to do this class. I didn't want to use any more brain power trying to fucking like come up with a a solution okay i also had to come back for f- this fall anyway i was like fuck this i dropped the class no way. i did not message him <laughs> i did not respond to him i just dropped the class i got my tuition back but and now i'm taking this art history class which seems to be much easier and is also in person <laughs> so i can't get fucking marked absent yeah oh tyler your eyes were closed the whole time man. like uh, 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 i was just like I took this guy's class last year. I didn't say shit in his class. I was like, fucking easy. He didn't mark me down. I don't give a fuck. So I showed up to this class like, fuck this. This is going to be simple. I just do my assignments. 
hey, you didn't talk and didn't have your webcam on, even though I didn't take attendance. Uh, was it a higher level course? Yeah. Like it's an was, upper level art history class. But like was the one that you took that the was The course easy? number starts with a three. Was the previous one a one or a two that you took with him? Uh, sure. I don't fucking know. I mean, because that could be part of it. I think they were both threes. Oh, well then fuck that. It's the same. It's like... It doesn't really matter, but then I'd ask. Yeah, I don't know. Like maybe he had different rules, but I, I don't know if I missed him saying like, oh, hey, you you little scamp, you got to turn on your webcam or I'm going to I'm gonna mark you absent. He definitely might have, but he also might have just been like a little bitch. I don't know. I, I feel just, like it's I just a, like, and he was a chill, like I liked it. I liked him in the last class. Mm. I was excited to take this class, oh, but shit. I also, also piling onto that. I, I like tried to read one of the readings and the fucking gobbledygook smart yeah. person Fuck bullshit that. language in the textbook that we had. I was like, no, I can't stand so that, that made shit. it even better. Uh, somebody told me that I should like fucking, you should at like least, fucking at least yeah. fight a little bit, should, like, oh. Dispute it a little bit, and I was like, "No, I dropped the class. I didn't fucking respond to him. I'm not taking another one of his classes Hilarious. either." Yeah. So that's where I'm at. I mean, I started my classes. I'm taking my internship class. I'm taking drawing for non majors, which is a 1,000 level course, and it's going to be way more work than it's worth, and I'm pissed about it. Drawing, that can't be that much work. No, it's going to be more work than I wanted it to be. Oh. Because I'm at the point where I'm just filling in credits, right? Because we talked yeah. about like I just I'm done with most of my higher level stuff. Yeah. The other one is fundamentals of grammar. Which anybody who knows me knows. Are you just taking some piddly bitch classes? Yeah, fundamentals I, of grammar? I am. I did learn that fundamentals of grammar is a 2,000 level course. <laughs> I thought it was a one. And that sucks because it's also more work than I thought it was going to be. So Bro. my three classes turned into two classes. But I think that the workload is going to turn back into three classes. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. Um, whatever. Are you allowed to... Do, do you want to reveal the basic nature of the third class? A fundament- and why it doesn't count as a third class. The internship? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, well, it, like, does, right? Because I have, like, essays to write and I stuff mean, like that. Okay. But I was supposed to get an internship. and But I've worked at the company I work at for four years. I'm going for a communication major, and I work in sales, right? So I'm just like, why would I throw away the work I've put in for three years and leave somewhere that, quite frankly, I'm very happy at yeah. to go and pursue something I'm probably not going to get paid for and work 12 hours a week? Unpaid internships are slavery. Exactly. So I said, you know what? Fuck that. And I basically like, I, I want to say that I cheated the system, but I kind of didn't because originally I just thought I was going to continue doing the job that I'm doing and just say that it's different. But that's actually not the case. I'm actually getting to do more stuff at work, which is cool. Um, and the only reason it doesn't feel like really much of a class is because we only meet three times. I'm already still just working 40 hours a week. Yeah. There are like three papers I have to write and three assignments. Fucked up. But like throughout the semester, I'm not that pressed about it because it's mostly like it's reflective stuff. It's like there's like five articles I have to read before the next class that's in like five weeks. (laughs) Right. And then I just have to write an essay on it. And most of it is like I can say like I and me and use, you know, first person. It's not like I have to cite a shit ton of sources and anything like that. So Uh, I think it's going to be a breeze other than the last paper is six to seven pages. But it's about the internship, so like, why? I don't know. Whatever. I'm not that pressed about this one. I, it's gonna be a little more work than I wanted it to be, but it's also like com forty nine fifty, so it's not like I can expect it to be two thousand level course load. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't know. It's fine. I I think I got lucky this semester. Next semester is gonna be I think very similar because I'm taking like, what is it? I'm taking some like I think I'm taking a gender communication class. Okay. That's my last higher level comm course. Learn how to talk to girls. Yeah. And no, it's kind of cool. I'm excited <laughs> for that one. But then I'm also taking like American Sign Language and Intro to Linguistics. That sounds fucking useful as hell. Yeah. So. God damn. I'm kind of stoked about it because they're both 1,000 level courses. Stuff that I've been interested in and just like wanted to take for a while but just like couldn't fit it in, you know? Yeah. That's what the end of college is for, you know, is taking <laughs> Intro to Linguistics because you can. Even though I'm sure that's going to end up a lot more work than I want it to be as well. Just take shit that you, you know, shit that works. Yeah, I got to learn shit about like want. diphthongs and emphasis. What'd you call me? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, <laughs> yeah. So more on that in a few months. Um, I did, however, see, I've always thought I was pretty like smart with grammar. I know like the right form of your, their, effect, effect, whatever, right? I, for the most part, can create a coherent sentence when I want to. 
you know, pick on people on the internet for using the wrong fucking words. Mm-hmm. That's that shit's funny. Thing to do. Absolutely. The problem is I was reading the first PowerPoint and had to Google what a predicate was. Do you know what a predicate is? Um, this is the first it's slide. The obs- obs- opposite of a subject. Okay. Um, what is a predicate? Yeah, so... That's that guy that tried to kill Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> the predator? Yeah. 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 No, that's... Yeah. No. It. Um. So the basic form of a sentence, right, is subject predicate. So the subject is the noun. The predicate is the verb clause or verb phrase. Huh? And then I learned about, like, clauses, which I sort of knew about, but... Yeah, like Tim know. Allen. Yeah. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> <laughs> you make me sick. Um, but if that's the rudimentary stuff that I didn't know, I'm really not excited for like six weeks from now. Dude, grammar words are annoying. Yeah. I will tell you whenever we do commas, I'm going to like want to kill myself because I put commas everywhere and anywhere. I I will make a sentence and somehow it will have six commas in it. What the fuck are you doing with these run on ass sentences? It's just anytime I just like would pause if I'm speaking. I would put a comma, but the problem is... That's what a fucking period is for. No, well... No, or an yeah, ellipse, well, or a semicolon. No, no, but see, I don't know, like, how to separate clauses, or how to separate, like, prepositions, or, like, when to separate a preposition, or when to se- put a comma after a name. Like, if I said, my mom, Jennifer, did this. Yeah, those are both commas. I don't think they are. I think it's just my mom, Jennifer, did this. Oh, I think, but I don't know. That's the problem. Maybe I've seen it both ways. It's in, it's insane, disgusting, and I don't know how commas work. It's a it's a choose your own adventure. Using commas is an art form, Logan. Sold. Maybe that's what the the teacher will tell you. That's an art. There's an art to commas. You put them wherever you like. You want to make sure they look nice. It's getting kind of warm in here, and I'm not supposed to sweat with this thing on. Can you um, either you think it's open a warm in here? Yeah, I'm getting just like warmer than I probably should be because I can feel myself. Well, start I don't want to sweat. listen to outside on the so fucking open, audio. Just open that yeah. for a little bit. That'll be fine. Oh yeah, I can feel the breezy, the brigadey breeze. I don't think you can. Oh, it got to you first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cool. I've had this thing on for. 16 minutes. I'm a quarter done. All right. <sighs> Do you have a news goofing? No. I do. The queen died. <laughs> Hilarious. That's not a news goofing because I mean, everybody knows about it. I think it's it. kind of funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Real talk, though. I think the memes, listen, sucks that a person <laughs> died, but the memes don't don't miss. Oh I have not God. seen one that I didn't giggle at a little bit. <laughs> they were all so good so far. Mm. She had a long life. She she wouldn't mind us uh, there was time. making fun of her. She also like oversaw concentration camps. So I think that Yeah, Britain uh we can make some jokes. I think it's funny that we in America give a fuck about the royal family when we uh positively shat on them a, a couple hundred years ago mm-hmm. and said, Hey, we don't want to be in your shitty club where we don't get to do anything anymore. <laughs> I or do you think just take our shit. I've seen a lot of like I was on Twitter and I don't usually use Twitter, but I did use Twitter for this because I knew that the conversations would turn into arguments and I wanted to be part <laughs> of that. So I looked like one of them said something about like, oh, the queen died, didn't it? Right. It was no. funny. And somebody was just like some you could tell who's British and who's not just by like the way that they were talking about this. Somebody said like something along the lines of. Ah, uh, you have such like an outdated because like the picture was somebody with just like disgusting teeth. I think it was a fish with too many teeth or something. <laughs> and it's a SpongeBob character. No, no, no. It was like the like a real fish that has like the human like teeth, but then their tongue is lined in teeth and like Jesus it's really Christ. gross. And I hate it, but it was funny in I this feel, context. I know what you're talking about. We should find that and put that in. The, we should. It's the Insta post. So then somebody said, "Ah, oh, funny, you have like this outdated version of Brits, you know, whatever." And then somebody posted like a picture of some like watermelon that was shaved to look like it just had like millions of teeth. <laughs> and it basically said like, at least I don't get shot up in maths class. Walk in it. Oh <laughs> my fucking like, God. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> in maths class. Because <laughs> the way that they spelled it and the way it was written, because <laughs> everybody in the comments that was Brit- British was just like, oh, at least we don't have school shootings. Oh, at least we don't get shot up in maths class. I mean, Fair. But then Americans were like, wow, funny how like you like we say one thing about your dead colonizer and you just start coming at us about our school shootings like Jesus Christ. Oddspeed is getting 
uh, global politics, political. <laughs> yeah. This fucking episode. It was hilarious. I was just. We like, never shit. do American politics, and you're talking about like making fun of their dead fucking leader. Well, yeah, they deserve it because it also <laughs> they were like, hey, hey, if you're gonna if you're gonna make fun of the dead queen, think about her family, like her her son that cheated on his wife, her other son that cheated on his wife, <laughs> or like the guy, the other son that diddles kids. And I was like, no. no. But also like, yeah, they're terrible people. Oh my god. So. That's that's the news goofing for the day. I think it's kind of goofy, a little silly goofy mood, you know. Man, you should try and like get like a a global like uh, any country that used to be like a colony of of England, of the British Empire, just come together and like have a party. No, I saw. I found like the most offensive shit ever, bro. Neoliberal hell on Instagram literally posted, and she was like. Yo, where the the queen is dead parties in NYC at tonight? <laughs> no. Did you also see that Trisha Paytas had a kid three minutes after the queen died? Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I follow neoliberal hell hell too, and it Good. was just funny as shit that she shared two different memes about Trisha Paytas and about the queen about how they were both like please just wait until 9-11 it'll be way funnier but then like now it's even funnier because i saw that picture of the old woman like hanging on to a gate and it was like the queen waiting in trisha paytas's uterus to get reincarnated no and i was like fuck yeah that the people were talking about how that is the best form of punishment <gasps> for the queen's soul is to get reincarnated as trisha paytas's daughter <laughs> so fucking good all I, all I know about trisha paytas is she did that like hundred layers of fake come on her face challenge she is the grossest human being in existence yeah i don't for I, a slew of reasons i i just don't want to know any more about okay. her <laughs> yeah um unclear what if, forgive us if you're listening and you're a trisha paytas stan well don't forgive us because i hate you if you are but imagine i don't know what her pronouns are we're gonna get attacked by trisha paytas stands and british people i would love that oh my god i would fight them off we could skyrocket into into fame if we just <laughs> make fun of enough people yeah no yeah trisha paytas uh used they them pronouns for a long time and then i think oh she changed to back to she her like demi lovato exactly yeah. And I know that that's like normal, but I don't want to think it's normal for Trisha Paytas because I hate her. My inner skeptic wants to be mean to people that change back because yeah. I want to assume that they're doing it for clout. Well, see, I don't I don't care because if I'm people an asshole. change back um, because I know that that's normal, but it's the people that I hate, like <laughs> Demi Lovato and Trisha Paytas, that I will roast the shit out of. Uh did Demi uh, Lovato do anything? Oh, everything. Demi What'd Lovato is a terrible person. Oh, I didn't know that. You got to just Google it because I honestly don't remember. I just remember reading about it a couple different times. Oof. Um, it sucks because like she's talented and she makes like good pop music, not stuff that I would listen to, but the problem is like nobody wants to hear it anymore because she's canceled as fuck. Oof. Speaking of terrible celebrities, did you see Harry Styles hawk a I big loogie onto on a Chris Pine's like, little hands? The Don't Worry Darling drama is so interesting to me <laughs> because I really like Chris Pine and Harry Styles have both said that Harry did not spit. But <laughs> I saw the video and I watched the video like a dozen times and I just do not see a world where he didn't. I found a different angle where he definitely did not spit. His head barely moves. It just looks like his head moves. Damn. Did you see the, the edit where uh, Harry Styles threw a goat onto Chris Pine's lap? I saw that you shared it. Oh, yeah. good. Okay. <laughs> that shit. That is exactly what I want from the internet because it was so well done too. Were you ever excited for Don't Worry, Darling? Yes, I still okay. am. I'm still going to see it. Diana wanted me to do a news goofing on it, but I, I didn't get a chance to like write a bunch of shit down about it. I mean, I can tell you the whole drama. It's just the whole thing. Why don't, why don't you share some with me? Okay. Because I'll probably fuck it up. So here's what happened. The, the notable players include Olivia Wilde, who is the director and also one of the, the leads. She's actually, I think, more of a secondary character because Florence Pugh and Harry Styles are the leads and Chris Pine is in the movie. He doesn't have as much to do with the drama uh, or I'm not quite sure what he has to do with it. I do know during filming... Olivia Wilde and Harry Styles started, um, I think that they were cheating on Olivia Wilde's like significant other or Harry Styles' significant other and it ended up like destroying a relationship, I believe. And But I, what I do know is that they did get together. <laughs> they got together. They were fucking around on set. And Florence Pugh has a reputation in Hollywood for being like incredibly like professional, 
being a good person to work with. Hey. So anything, like, most people stand be behind her because they see her do some shit and they're like, oh, like, she has a really good head on her shoulders. Yeah. So the point is, um, Harry Styles and Livy Wilde broke up. Ooh. So they were, like, being unprofessional. They also, like, I believe cheated on somebody. I, I don't remember who. Fucking hell. And then um, Florence Pugh is married to Harry Styles in the movie. And she, like, had all of her scenes with him <laughs> or half of her scenes with him, right? And she just, like, didn't like how they were being unprofessional. They were, like, it just as a whole was kind Jesus of a dirt, nasty, dirty situation. So Florence Pugh says, I am not doing any of the press for this movie. Fuck that Olivia Wilde girl. Fuck that Harry Styles guy. Other than I think she went to the the Venice premiere, maybe. Yes. Um, which is where all this shit went down. Because... Supposedly, she only went to the Venice premiere because she was already there filming something else. Oh, that's what Diana told me. I love that for her. She's like, imagine only going to Italy. Yeah, the I thing would just is, not like, go. <laughs> um, Florence Pugh, obviously, like, because she's professional, like, this shit started happening, and she was like, no, like, I got hired to do a job. So I'm going to do the job, right? So she could have very easily dropped out of the movie. Yeah. Um, but she is a bigger person and did not. That being said, Legend. Um, at the premiere, it was very funny because you could see like Harry Styles avoiding Olivia Wilde and Florence Pugh and then Florence Pugh avoiding Olivia Wilde <gasps> on the red carpet. And if you know anything about a red carpet, you know, like it's not very big, right? Like the pictures <laughs> are all going to be pretty close together oh, so there's a God. video floating around somewhere of like some press lady trying to get harry styles to take a picture with olivia wilde and he just would not fucking move oh my god and she's like hey c- come over here come on i need you how can c- you come- be so bad at being famous that's what I'm just saying. fucking do it for the camera i'm like that's why you don't fucking date someone while you're filming a movie and the problem is it took them so goddamn long to film this movie yeah that like something is bound to happen between the two of them <laughs> i don't know it's just funny and then i don't know why chris P- i think chris pine probably just like Took a certain side, probably Florence Pugh's side, I believe. Yeah, and then Harry Styles just just spat on him. Yeah, it spat really. On him. I mean, it really looks like he spat on. It him. really does. It, like, like I I want to see that other angle because I still am under the impression like maybe he spat. You know, <laughs> like it's 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 to describe it to everybody. Um, it's literally a front facing shot of of them sitting down in their seats. Um, Chris Pine is already sitting down. Harry Styles walks up to sit next to Chris Pine and he like jerks his head a little bit and he's face, he's like looking down towards Chris Pine's hands, which are like sitting like, like he's like, his hands are out holding he's nothing. He's kind of man spreading a little bit. Yeah. Like there, there's plenty of lap there. There's for a lot of lap. to spit on. And Harry just, it just looks like by the way he moves his neck and his head, it looks like he spits. And then Chris Pine also like kind of looks uncomfortable and looks at his hands like like somebody just spat in yeah, his Yeah, like hand. he looks down at his lap. The thing like Harry Styles like <laughs> cheeks looked like they had something in them and then he his like lips purse whatever and it looks like he spits. And immediately <sighs> Chris Pine looks down kind of like cuz he Chris Pine was la- or clapping for Harry Styles. And then as soon as oh, like yeah. this quote spitting incident happens, Chris Pine stops clapping, looks down and then just kind of like like turns his head and does one of those like really kind of things, but like still with a smile on his face because he knows he's on camera. Yeah. And then Harry Styles sits down, does not look at Chris Pine anymore, like button unbuttons his suit jacket or whatever, and they go about their business. Like it's the per. There's not one thing that I'm like, oh, but why would somebody do that? It's, it's exactly what you think would happen if someone spat on someone else on camera while that was happening. It it <sighs> fucking crazy. So if you see that other angle, please share it with me. I gotta see it. God, I want I want to know the truth. Yeah, I That's mean, Chris Pine straight up said like, "No, he did not spit on me." But also, his publicist could have like, been like, "Why?" You don't want to his say publicist something. said it too. Oh, really? Yeah, interesting. But like, why would you say that he did? Well, because everybody, well, just to like, like if it's just to keep the peace and not start. I'm more sure that's shit, what it is. If like, he did spit, that would be why he wouldn't say it. Did you see how? Uh, do you, Do you know who originally had the role that Harry Styles was supposed to have in the movie? I do. Who was it? Was it Chris Pine? It was no. Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf? Yes. Oh, I don't remember hearing about this. A little, uh, an extra little little piece of this movie. Shia LaBeouf quit the movie. He either got fired or he quit. But there's a there's a whole um, interesting problem there where they the, um Olivia Wilde claims that he got fired and Shia LaBeouf claims that he quit because they all fucking suck. Well, or Olivia Wilde sucks or some shit. Like, I don't want to fucking. And then Olivia Wilde was like, "Oh, we'll get Harry Styles." You know Harry Styles, famous actor from Eternals, and into my into my movie and Dunkirk. Yeah, was he good in Dunkirk? He was in Eternals for five seconds. It's hard to be 
good when you're on screen for no time at all or okay. when you have almost no lines. Yeah. Like he was fi- there wasn't anything I noticed in Dunkirk that I was like, really? Like why did he say that? But he's also just like not an actor. Yeah. You know, everybody was up in arms about him being in Eternals, and I was just fucking offended at how terrible the CGI for Patton Oswalt's I mean, little get troll used to character it. was. Welcome to MCU. Oh my fucking god! Don't even. We should fucking talk about that shit. Yeah. Where well, this is going to be an entire episode where we just talk about current events, huh? Yeah, because it's coming out in two days, so we can do that. Oh. What? Usually we record. Don't worry, like, don't worry dar- Oh, the, no, the podcast the is coming out. In no, two don't days. worry, darling. Is like two weeks out, I think. Which I, and oh, I will man. be seeing it. And I will be reporting because apparently it got mid reviews, but it got like a good fucking mid. It, it's kind of it's kind of shaky here because the Rotten Tomato score is like thirty nine percent, but that doesn't really mean much to me. But the movies that are like really great usually get a good score. Yeah. So mm, I don't know. It's just uh, it's an interesting concept. It looks like a good movie, but there's plenty of other shit that I'm not too pressed about. Now I'm just kind of excited to like see what happens because also olivia wilde like is doing a terrible job at being in the limelight because she just keeps talking about the drama she keeps being like we're not gonna, what a dumb bitch. We're gonna put it all aside we're still gonna be proud of what we made she talked about how florence Pugh was like a powerhouse in the movie and she gave a great performance okay but she said like despite blah 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 blah, and she went on a fucking ram rampage about or no i'm sorry she rambled about you know like she, i consider her a rampage because i think she's a fucking idiot but she really just rambled about like the drama isn't going to stop us. We went through a lot together and I'm just like, you're just supposed to ignore it. Shut up lady. You're just supposed to ignore it and just say, we're proud of this movie. I'm happy to have been part of the cast. I'm really you know, proud of the performances. Like zip it girl. I mean, if somebody asks her about it, she can at least like acknowledge it briefly and then just fucking yeah, there's talk ways about her fucking you're supposed movie. to curve the, publicists are doing a terrible job for her because they're supposed to be able to curb the the conversation, right? Yeah. Like, hey, tell us about the drama. Well, you know, we we went through a lot together on set, but we're really proud of that. But she like went into da, detail da, 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 about da, da, da. it. And I'm just like, girl, are you dumb? Uh, I'll watch it. Yeah, same. Been watching a couple non-superhero movies this year. Oh, that's Just good. to kind of like, you know, cleanse my palate of the, yeah, we need to, the superhero movies this year. Because this year they all suck. Well, Batman was good. Oh, yeah, Batman in March. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Is that what it's going to become? Is DC going to start making good movies and Marvel start going to make, start, start, going to start making bad movies? Absolutely not. They're both going to make bad movies. <laughs> DC's always been capable of making good one off movies, but like this Joker sequel, I'm nervous. Why? It's a musical. Okay. And I don't I don't I didn't need a sequel at all. Let alone a musical. They didn't need a sequel. That's the problem. I mean, if they're make here's the thing. They're making it a musical, which means it's gonna be its own thing. They're not just gonna make the same movie again. That's what's yeah, worrisome that when they do shit like that, is they they just make it another of the same fucking movie. Yeah. And they just rehash a bunch of shit. They're just trying to do something else with a character that people like, and they're adding. I'm interested in seeing Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn. Yeah. That's hilarious. No, I mean, yeah, I, I just know, like, I'm not a huge Lady Gaga fan. I know she's a good actor. I haven't seen what is that movie called? House of Gucci, Born. What's the Star, one with Star Justin Star Timberlake? Born. Star is Born. Okay, that's not Justin. Not Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. Bradley Cooper, buddy. What's the actual? Uh, yeah, Bradley Cooper. Justin yeah. Timberlake. Who does he play? He's I mean, in Trolls. In, t- in time, in like 2014. I don't know what that is. Uh, Next. Where they have the time that they're going to live on their on their wrist and it's a countdown. But then oh, you I can like pay that. with time. Oh, oh. It, it's a cool concept. It kind of sucked as a movie, but uh, I think it's, I would watch it again. Hmm. It's been a long time. Too. I like niche dumbass movies like that. Mm-hmm. Um, what were we saying? Oh, yes. The MCU is terrible. No, well, no, we were talking about Lady Gaga for a second. Yeah, Lady Gaga, great. I, love her. Love her to death. I don't Salt love her earth. music. She's super talented. It's just like not my vibe. Yeah. So that's why I'm a little nervous because I don't want Joker to like turn into just like another A Star is Born. Dude, fucking. Uh... <laughs> like, is she going to be He's like surrounded by cops and then she just gets lowered from the ceiling like in the fucking Super Bowl. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> she oh, starts singing die. Born This Way or some shit. Wearing a meat dress. Meat dress, meat dress, Harley Quinn. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I hope that there's other singers besides just her. I bet uh, they're gonna get Joaquin to sing. What's his name? I was gonna call him River Phoenix. That guy died. Yeah, he's dead. Joaquin Phoenix. He can sing, probably. Hmm. You could teach someone to sing for a fucking good movie. Yeah. I also, though, I am excited because did you hear about the budget for that movie? Oh, what is it? So Joker had a budget of about nineteen million. Okay. 
That's how much Joaquin Phoenix is getting paid for the sequel. <laughs> it now has almost a two hundred million dollar budget. That's awesome. So I am. I mean, I trust Todd Phillips. I think he's going to do a great job. As was he that did, the, did he do the first one? He's a director. Yep. So they're bringing back the same guy. If it's not broke, yeah. Joaquin no Phoenix fix. read the script and he's like happy with it. So I can only say best of luck to you. I will be going to the theaters to watch it. Probably opening night next year. When is that supposed to come out? Next year. Next October, I think. October. Got right it. around the same time as Dune, I think. Oh, Which I never is, watched the first Dune. What? Yeah. Oh, dude. No, Ooh. no. Dune. Dune. Duned. No, no, Dune. That that movie is beautiful. I gotta fucking watch that shit. I, it's mostly exposition for the second movie, I believe. Mm. Like they didn't That's say boring. that. No, no, but it was it was slow and long. But it looks really good, and the performances are incredible, which makes me very excited for the second one because they set up a bunch of shit for the sequel. And, you know, Denis Villeneuve is my favorite director, so you don't got to tell me twice to go and see that movie opening night as well. Yeah, you know it's on HBO Max. I should just fucking sit down and watch it. It's just like two and a half hours. That's why it's a little tough. Uh, I think it was closer to three, actually. But, yeah, you really should watch it. Hey, you know what's two and a half hours that I watched the other day? Mm. Hamilton. Why? Have you ever seen Hamilton? No. I can't stand the music. Oh, you hate musicals. It that takes a good. lot in a musical to impress me, and Hamilton just doesn't do it. It's I get why people love it, right? That's, yeah. I think I'm very good at like putting myself aside and saying, that is a good musical. I understand why people enjoy it. It's just it's not for me. I don't like the whole hip-hop like history, because I hate history. I hate hip-hop music. Honestly, makes history better for me. I believe it. Love it. I just, I don't know. I like imagining uh, racist nerds going like, dude, we're black. That guy wasn't black. That wasn't black. That guy wasn't Latino. What the fuck? <laughs> they wouldn't say Latino. They would just say Mexican or something. Yeah, because they would, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Was I thought it, it was a great movie. Uh, it rated out of 10 for me. Shit. Eight or nine. Okay. I mean, yeah. I was entertained by it. It was a... Dude, the, the actual real-ass story of Alexander Hamilton is a compelling fucking story. I did know that. And that would interest me if it was just like a drama. But it's the musical thing that just like doesn't feel just like when people can fucking break out into song. <laughs> I'm just like, yo, the only time and I've talked about it on here before you, many episodes ago. Tick, tick, boom. Rules. Impeccable. That was tick, a 10 tick, out of 10 movie. I can't speak today. No, tick, 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 tock, boom. Tick, tock, boom. Yeah. No, that was that's a Netflix original. Everybody. I hate musicals. And I gave that movie a 10 out of 10. And for perspective, I only have like 25 of those out of the thousand movies I've ever seen. Yeah. So, um, how many of those are Disney movies? One. I think it's just Luca. Oh, okay. I if I could. Given Canto rated. That's a nine out of ten. The only I'm other. I'm sorry. Twenty-five. Ten out of ten movies. You said. Yes. I was thinking of musicals. Oh. I'm very hot. Let me take my. I'm wearing two shirts right now. Yeah. I'm an idiot. Um. The only other Disney movie that comes close. And really, like, so I'm a, I'm a huge Toy Story fan, okay? Oh, if yeah. I could rate the four movies as a collective, it would be a five out of five. I just, I don't feel comfortable making all of them 10 out of 10, but I also do not feel comfortable picking a favorite, which is why I do not have any of the Toy Stories. Because really, Toy Story 4 made me sob in theaters. That was such a fucking great movie. So I, I was almost at a 10 out of 10 for that. And honestly, maybe I should rewatch all four of them so I can give them really like accurate ratings and then I would be able to pick a favorite. But I also don't want to add four more five out of fives to my list because <laughs> I just love them too much. I wouldn't give all of them five. You know what? Toy Story 4 pissed me off because they really pushed the, the toys doing whatever the fuck they want crap. What do you mean? Like them stop like fucking with the, the dad's car the whole time. Or no, I'm sorry. Hilarious. Buzz acting like a complete moron the whole movie bothered me just a little bit. What do you mean? Where he's an idiot and he's listening to his own fucking audio box where he presses his own buttons and his, his like... because he in, got reset. Huh? Didn't he get reset? He didn't forget who he was. In Toy Story 3, he got put back to normal and he remembered who he was. Okay. I need to rewatch those movies. Yeah. Like he has, he's, he still has all the character development in Toy Story 4. He's just like, oh, how do you, uh, <laughs> Woody says something about a voice in his head and Buzz is like, oh, you have a voice in your head too? And he just starts pushing his buttons every time he can't think of what to do. And this happens a lot because Buzz is an idiot in this movie. So he's like, oh, I don't know what to do. And he presses a button and he's like, it's like, it's a secret mission in uncharted space. So he fucking leaves. 
He's there like, was, ah, a, there I'm was go a on a reason. Mission. No, there there was a reason that he was like doubting himself the whole movie. I believe that there was. If there wasn't, I'm terribly sorry, and I understand. <laughs> but I'm all, I I don't believe Toy Story would do that. I don't. In my in my heart. All hearts. right, Logan. I just um I don't know. It was just good, and that was it. It. But that's like it was good. I have minimal gripes with Toy Story. Yeah. I just wouldn't. I would maybe give the first one a ten out of ten. The I mean, rest yeah. of them are not. Damn, you make. I'm thinking too much about it. I'm just saying they're all wonderful movies. Those are like the best movies that Pixar has period. to offer. Yeah, I also just like don't necessarily like when I rate something a ten out of ten. It doesn't mean it's a perfect movie, right? It's just like it's usually just a feeling I get. I'm like, oh, that was... you've maxed out on how much you like it. Exactly. Like exactly. you like it more than you like nine out of tens. Yeah. Yeah, that I doesn't mean that. it's better. Like I have, um, you know, the Shawshank Redemption at a nine out of ten. That's one of the best movies, if not the best movie ever made. Yeah. But what, what I have fucking Christopher Robin, that's a Disney movie, at a 10 out of 10. That movie was adorable. Exactly. Shawshank Redemption is obviously a better movie, <laughs> but it, uh, I'm not just like a fucking critic writing stuff, ooh, ooh, this was a technical element I didn't like, and this was a technical element I didn't like. Are you planning on watching that stupid ass horror Winnie the Pooh movie, Blood and Honey? That's how he says it in, in just Winnie the Pooh. He's going Honey. I'm really conflicted. Blood and honey. I love Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. As much as I love Toy Story. Okay. And Christopher Robin is one of my favorites. Yeah. And I love horror movies. And I know that this movie is going to be bad. It looks like a piece of shit. Like, I, like I know it's going to be like a two out of ten <laughs> movie at best. Yeah. Which makes me want to watch it. But I also don't know if I want to have the image tainted in my brain of like, oh my God, they really fucking like ate Eeyore. But, like, it's literally, like, it's not the characters. Yeah, like, I'm really curious. It's guys what... with masks on. You're like, what's the fucking plot? I, I'm sure I'm going to end up watching it because when it comes out, it's going to be huge on the internet, I'm oh, sure. Oh, fucking hell, Because yeah. And people were already talking about it three years before that copyright expired. People were like, oh, someone's planning a Disney, uh, uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. <laughs> and I was like, they're not going to do that. And then they Stupid. did it. And they just wrapped filming, I think, didn't they? Yeah. It's like a soon-ish thing. Like, give it a year or less, and we're going to have it. Oh, Good I'm nervous. Lord. I'm going to watch it. I've decided on this podcast, it's going to happen. I'm going to complain about it. Um, now, back to your point. We're talking about Marvel. Listen, Kevin Feige. Dude. Please. I'm, I'm begging, begging you. you. <laughs> please. Please give me something that I enjoy as much as No Way Home again well that movie wasn't even that good either it just I had a bunch of movie. shit in it i loved that movie yeah because it had a bunch of shit in listen it. I'm that you was the was best that movie that marvel has made in the past two years i can't think of i did not like multiverse of madness more than that eternals oh. shang chi were passable they were fine they weren't uh an insult to me like like thor <laughs> okay i'm looking at the list right now no i'm not that's not order. and i'm Fuck very me. passive about marvel movies because it's just like i don't care anymore I will just keep consuming it because they keep making it. And I, you know, barely pay anything besides for a fucking premiere ticket or for a monthly Disney Plus f yeah. fee. Here, I've got the... Okay, so the last one that came out was Thor Love and Thunder. So, okay, let's go down my, my, my grievances. Thor Love and Thunder. Taika Waititi cited that he used the stupid goat joke in the movie because he thought the meme from 10 years ago was funny. Okay. That's why he used the screaming goats in that And that's movie. why that movie sucked. <laughs> they uh, uh, ejected the Guardians of the Galaxy after building up that the Guardians of the Galaxy were supposed to be in it. Uh huh. You gotta make these quick because we have a bunch of shit to go through. Fucking, it was just, all the jokes were just sucking. It just wasn't that funny. The jokes funny. were lame. Ragnarok had a good story. It was funny. I, I was never bored. Thor Love and Thunder, I literally sat there like with like drooling halfway through. <laughs> it was fun to look at, but that was about it. And Fucking Gore was hell. good. Gore was the, one of the best villains we've had since. I Gore think, was Thanos. great. You know what wasn't great? Uh, Colin and Cody's favorite thing to make fun of. Uh, Heimdall's kid. So dumb. Fucking FaceTiming uh, Thor <laughs> yeah, with like, his fucking <laughs> shitty holograph head. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, Doctor Strange. I loved the direction. I loved the, the horror elements. The direction was fine. Horror is cool. I thought that the performances were like fine. Hey, the performances were fine, but every character was a fucking idiot. Yeah, the rest of it sucked. It was terrible. Wanda wants to fucking steal her kids. Why? This one's a guilty pleasure for me because I like I like horror movies. The and horror I was cool. I am insulted by the horror when it's Wanda walking through glass like an idiot instead of flying or ripping... Uh, 
Mr. Fantastic into spaghetti. Well, hold on a second. Here's the thing, though. Think about horror movies, right? Think about the decisions people make. Think about... Right. This is very much like classic Wanda Sam Wanda isn't horror. a serial killer. She's trying to the achieve something. I like horror movies arguably a little teeny bit better than I like superhero movies because I am yeah. much more able to like look at it as like, a oh, this movie isn't very good, but I really enjoyed myself. And that's why I like Doctor Strange. It, the movie was not very good, but I liked it because I was just like, this was fun to watch. I was engaged almost the whole time. I, I do not hate it as much as everybody else does, but I also, like, I get it. You know? I, want, I want Sam Raimi to know. I want you to know, buddy. The eyeball, the third eye on Doctor Strange oh, did not look great. No, it looked like shit. Uh, Captain Marvel cannot get killed by a rock. That's fucking stupid. How do you know? Uh, because Captain Marvel took a punch to the face from Thanos. That was when she was ready, though. You don't know if like she has to... Bullshit. That didn't bother you me. You can't kill Captain Marvel you also don't know with who, a rock. How do you know who she is in that universe? No, 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 no. I'm don't do saying. that shit. I'm just saying. You introduce her as Captain Marvel, you can't kill her with a rock. No Way Home. No Way Home. Script. Sucked. Script was dumb. Listen, there was a lot of dumb dialogue, and there was and the the whole that's just another like these two movies, Multiverse and No Way Home, both made Doctor Strange look like a fucking idiot. No Way Home even Absolutely. more because he had less screen time, and the times that he was on screen, he was being a complete moron. It's funny because they were talking about how he's supposed to be like the anchor of the MCU now that Iron Man's dead, and I was just like, hell really? no, he is not. Yeah, like what? He was that's a side Kevin character said. in his own movie. Exactly. So that sucked. Um, he got trapped in the fucking mirror dimension by Peter Parker. Yeah. Well, and he did no, the, I thought that was good. I think that okay. Fu- listen, that worked. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't focus on that because that was cool. The way they explain how he did it to him, mm-hmm. that was funny. Yeah. Him doing the stupid spell that rips the universe in half without telling Peter what it even does. Yeah. Nonsense. No, that was goofy. But um, I love giving um. Both previous Peter Parkers in extension to their character arcs yes. and fixing the MCU Peter's character arc. That was, I think, done well. I think the character stuff was good. Um, I liked the design of the villains. I just like... You know, I I'm just, something of a scientist myself. Exactly. Some of it was laughable because it was supposed to be and some of it was laughable because it was supposed to be but wasn't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, Eternals, listen, I had fun. I liked that movie. Eternals was a very creative movie. Yeah, it was cool. It was very different. I thought it was hilarious that the... Uh, I, I wish I remembered the director's name. Chloe Zhao. Chloe Zhao wanted to uh, like end the world in that movie, and Kevin Feige was like, you can't do that. Yeah, like... That's not allowed. Yeah, like, did she know what she was walking into? This isn't Rick and Morty, where oh, she's we end the world. She's a great director. Um, oh, yeah. She's got some other really acclaimed stuff. I think that it just was a little... I think it should have been like a good Disney Plus series, or it should have been two movies. Yeah. I think it would have been more effective. God damn. Because like, introducing, introducing a million fucking characters, that's what a Disney Plus show should be for. Yeah. Uh, Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi was great. Same for Black Widow. They both were like, fine. Upon like review, like it came out a year ago, Black Widow's character arc is botched because of that movie. Oh, no. Yeah, it was because terrible. Because she acts fucking stupid in that movie. Like the whole, um, they bury an entire prison under fucking, under an avalanche. Black Widow wouldn't fucking do that. <laughs> No, it, yeah. Yeah, let's just destroy an entire fucking uh, prison full of people. <laughs> yeah, and because we skipped Chang Chi, I'll just mention like I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it. I liked the designs of some of the characters. Like those dragons were super cool. I like how they changed the rings. I thought that that was a cool thing. I just didn't really feel connected to the characters, unfortunately. Yeah. I also hate Aquafina. So Aquafina was fine in that movie. I she liked her in that was movie. Fine. I just I couldn't. Uh, uh they had th- that movie had Marvel bullshit syndrome. Where the end battle was like a bunch of nonsense. Yeah. And it was like, oh, Aquafina is a great driver and that's her character arc. But now she doesn't have a character arc and she wants to be an archer. Like they had this focus of Aquafina didn't want to be. She was like, oh, I have no purpose in life. Even though she has like three instances in that movie where she's a great driver. I have this feeling that most of these movies were like good before at the like before Kevin Feige cut a bunch of shit. Probably. You know. And like, okay, yeah, Shang Chi was fine. I liked, I liked Shang Chi. Eternals was fine. Spider Man was great mm-hmm. and made Black Widow, Shang Chi, and Eternals look like poo poo. Fair. And then Doctor Strange was just like nonsense. And yeah. then Thor was unfunny. <laughs> yeah, like before that, really after Endgame, the only other one you had was Spider Man Far From Home, which was great. I love that movie. It I love Shang Chi. 
Jake G. Jake G and Mysterio, the power couple. No, we don't like Jake G. He hurt Taylor Swift's feelings. Fuck. (laughs) I do not get. He could do. He could hurt my feelings, and I'd say thank you. (laughs) I don't care. So even Endgame was fucking nonsense. (laughs) That movie, no, no, different, different story because that was the build up of a bunch of good movies. Yeah, but it was still nonsense. I still think it was good. That movie, compare that movie to the other three movies that the same people directed. I mean, why did was it they like do that? Age of Ultron? They did Winter Soldier, Civil War, and Infinity War. All right, the all Russo right. brothers did right, those. Right. Yeah, the arguably the best MCU movies. Infinity War is the best one. Infinity I will War die on this like, hill. I would say objectively, just written the best. Yeah, like it's all like a matter of taste for the, for a lot of it. Nah, but if you don't think Infinity War, sometimes is the best you have MCU to be movie. objective, like. No, Thor, The Dark World, Captain Marvel are not better than Infinity War. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. Um, Endgame, I just, uh, you know, I think what I liked a lot about that is it was just such a step away from the rest of the MCU. You really got time, I think, to, like, get to know these characters that we spent so much time with in such a different way. And that's cute. Like, for instance, I just watched a movie called Mass. And Go ahead. It was all it is is it takes place in one room for the most part it's two couples meeting six years after they both lost their sons to a tragedy that i will not tell you about but Mm. it was so incredible and it's obviously so much different than endgame but it it was similar in that like it focused on the performances like that was the one like the the actor that played lucius malfoy yeah uh he was in that movie and what's his face yeah i I used to know it i should know it because i just wrote a review about it but he gave him and then the other three, but him especially gave such incredible performances that I was like, yeah, like this is the kind of movie I want to see. That's what I thought about Endgame is I was just like, we're really just like getting to know the characters. And yeah, like they, uh, the final battle was good, but the first half, especially of Endgame, I loved. I liked Tony and I liked Black Widow in that movie. The rest of them, they ruined Steve because they made him give up on everything that he had been built up to as like, oh, I'm, I'm not going to abandon Bucky I have this new family. Um, I have this new... And then he just goes back and, and... It's because he knew that they were fine. He knew that they had gotten to a point where they didn't need him anymore. And he finally focused on himself. Fuck yeah. Shout no, out to Steve Rogers. No, I I'm so it. down with also, it. Also, they made the multi... The, the fucking timeline bullshit not make any sense. Because they got two... That's there's mid. two different responses about how he came back at the end of the movie. And then Thor's... um. They could have done a really great arc for Thor about depression. And, how and, and you know... They just kind of made it into a joke. Yeah, that's what they do with Thor. How many times do we have to talk about this? They don't ever have a good arc for Thor. Period. <sighs> Never. They ruin the jokes. They all. They either. He was either completely serious and not funny in the beginning, and now he's just a clown man. Yeah, that's why for Ragnarok what? I thought was good because I think it had a. It was both, mostly funny, but it did have some really good heart yes. to it. And even the end of Thor: Love and Thunder, to their credit, like the very end of it was good for like two minutes. I was like, dang, yeah, like that's what we wanted to see. But they just got there with, through jokes. Yeah. And I was like, fuck you. Objectively, Endgame, dumbass movie. No. Great fan service. Just a dumbass movie. It's just, just like, no. like any, like how many cartoons are there or like shows where there's like an episode where they do a time travel thing or like a memory thing or like a, like a flashback kind of episode. And that's just like, they made a whole movie for that. Which just like, as a narrative, it's just fucking nonsense. Because they talk about Oh, if you go back, it starts a new fucking timeline. How how does Steve go back and put them back if going back starts a new timeline? Because I think that there's an implication that when they say that when you go back, it starts a new timeline, that that it's because you're changing something. But the whole point is they didn't change anything. Oh, they did. They didn't. They fucked with everything. They didn't. They fuck with Natalie Portman and they fuck with Loki and he gets away. But the point is they go back and they, they put it... I don't know. I mean, the whole Loki thing, they didn't mean to do that. They, the whole point was that they were going to put it back in exactly the same place, and they just couldn't. They couldn't. I mean, they fucked up is the, the whole thing about it, and that's why we got all these other multiverse saga, right? Yeah. They Their idea was good, but they just had poor execution, because how can you expect that kind of thing to go perfectly? I'm just used to... These movies used to, like mostly have an internal logic it's because they were so grounded and now they've, they've added so much bullshit yeah. that i just can't help but watch and be like mm. why for the multiverse of madness when the entire multiverse is at stake doesn't dr strange summon everybody in the world again yeah since they uh demonstrated that he could do that yeah it's why just, is it uh... just people with bow and arrows trying to uh, fucking kill wanda <laughs> 
Yeah. It's just shit like that. Or like somebody pointed out, I saw a post where it was like, why did they send all of the Avengers to go get the fucking Infinity Stones with the limited Pym particles that they had when they didn't realize they could go get more? Why didn't they just send one guy to go get all of them? When they literally are time traveling and they could just come back at the exact moment that they left. I was like, hmm. Oh. Because otherwise there would not be a movie. Otherwise you can't have the joke about uh, Ant-Man wasting Pym particles. They also might maybe like, I don't know, just to play devil's advocate, right? Maybe they just didn't all feel comfortable in certain situations, right? Like the best person to go get it from Asgard was Thor, right? The best person to go get it from... Uh, the battle in New York is someone that was there. You know what I'm saying? It's just, yeah, I don't know. I just work here. I just, work um, here. that's kind of like our time. You know? How think, many minutes does your tattoo have left? Uh, I'm going to take it off in about seven minutes. Okay. Um, it'll be like five. Let's do a, a quick, we've been talking about pop culture, but well, I was going to say like, that is the, okay. Have, do you have any extra? I have a couple that I can, I mean, I have music. I've been listening on. to really most importantly, just, uh, Go listen to Muse's new album, Will of the People. It's fire. Um, a couple of Imagine Dragon songs I've been listening to, Sharks and Waves. Those are also super great. Um, beyond that, like, what other movies have I watched recently? Not a lot. I've been getting back into Love, Death, and Robots. Ooh. I've continued to watch The Sandman. I just watched Insidious again <laughs> again last night. Sorry, oh, no, everybody. not Darth Maul. Darth Maul. Yeah, dude, that fucking terrifying. That guy's crazy. But I don't so, did, any... so how did Colin react to it? He didn't. He was like, "You think that was the best jump scare in cinematic history?" It was, was a like, great jump scare. Absolutely. Colin, he was a liar. also fucking around. He was like going through his bag of snacks and shit. And I looked at him and said, "Colin," because they were in the dining room, right? I was like, "Colin, do not look in your bag right now." He's like, "Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just putting something away." I said, "Well, you fucked it up for him. He was waiting." He for wasn't. Something. He was not. He was fucking around in his bag, getting a snack out when it was about to happen. I was like, "Dude, you told him to focus on it. And I was he knew telling something him something was coming. I was telling him the whole time. I was like, "You got to focus on this movie." Your sixty seconds are up, but I didn't tell him just then. I was telling him the whole time. I was like, "This is the kind of movie you got to be watching." When I the whole watched time. Insidious as a kid when it came out, and it was on. So we watched it in my friend's house with a bunch of us on Halloween. I fucking shat my pants and chucked something at the TV when yeah. that jump scare happened. No, he just like wasn't. And That's Colin, a, you're going to listen to this one day and I want to let you know, I knew you weren't paying attention for a quarter of that movie. Damn, buddy. Logan's offended. You. It's okay, Colin. It's no, not it's that fine. great of a movie. Um. Okay, you fucking <laughs> 60 seconds starts now. Uh, I've been watching Primal on Adult Swim. It's, a, uh, it's about a caveman and a T-Rex. It's just like a really artistically beautiful ass show. It's an animated show. Beautiful. It's made ass. by the by the guy that made Samurai Jack and Dexter's Laboratory. But it's just a T Rex and a caveman trying to survive together, and it has no dialogue. Mm. It's it's a very interesting show. Me and Diana started watching that '70s show. Great. Last I was going to watch that too. Actually, that show is. F- I forgot how hilarious that show is. Everybody in that show is great. W's over the Big Bang Theory. Um, the fucking dad. Just everything he says to somebody. Just the funniest fucking thing I've ever heard. Mm. The fuck else about uh da 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 da. You've been listening to, yeah, musica, dude. I don't listen to new music. I just, fuck you. I just I just listen to the same shit over and over again. Or the stuff that I send you that you like, which is oh, what if I? You have four seconds. Oh, it's fine. Okay, well you're done anyway. Dang. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. This was a current events centered episode, as Tyler mentioned. Yeah, see you in a couple days when this comes out. Um, Thank you all for listening again uh, and continuing to listen to us. If you want to share it with some people, kind of get the ball rolling, kind of... Tyler, you sound dead inside. What's what? Be more excited when you're closing us out, man. Hey, share this podcast with your friends and family, not our family, though. Don't want Grandma to know that we say fuck every five seconds, mostly me. Give us a, you know, if you're listening on YouTube, feel free to subscribe. Give us a like. Give us a comment. Like, talk to us. Comment. Seriously, engage with us. A like. Would love that. Subscribe. Um, Shut up, Logan. It never ends. Uh, There's going to be, we've, I've started doing a link dump, so there's going to be a bunch of links to shit that we were talking about, and, uh. Great. Follow us on Instagram at O-D-D-S-P-E-E-D to get updates about the podcast. We also we have usually, a shorts channel. Yeah, we have a shorts channel on YouTube. New. That's um, linked on Spotify as well, as well as wherever you're listening to it, it should be linked. Uh, I think that's it. Great. Well, Oddspeed, everyone. I've been Logan. I've been Tyler. Oddspeed. And that's Love it. you guys.